Hi, I'm Francis. I'm going to talk to you about the work that I recently did on optimization remarks. Optimization remarks are great, are a great feature that LVM provides. It allows you to get more insight in what the compiler does and see things like what kind of optimizations that apply to your code. <coughs> There, there are some challenges that come to it. We, uh, we currently serialize it to YAML. We serialize it to disk, and as we all know, YAML is big, it's slow, and it doesn't really scale well. And when we're trying to look for remarks for a specific project or for a specific binary, this, ca this can be not trivial. And even then, when trying to process these remarks, we end up rewriting the same code. For example, for Clang, built with uh, release and debug info on Mac OS, we have around 20 gigabytes of remarks for just 100 megabytes of binary. And that is huge. And it's actually barely usable. It takes four minutes to parse all these 27 million remarks. <coughs> Other than that, it actually has a compile time slowdown, uh, a compile time impact, which, which is around 5% slowdown. So we looked into some different formats, and we came up with a binary format based on LVM bitstream, <coughs> which is almost which is around 12 times smaller, down to 1.7 gigabytes. It's a lot faster to parse, and it also improves compile time. This comes with some extra benefits as well. It's, it's a format which is known by the community. There's testing, and there's even tooling to actually work with it, like LVM BC Analyzer. We designed this with versioning in mind so we can possibly extend it in the future. And we even designed the metadata to be a little flexible so we can embed it in different places. To work with remarks, we now provide a C API through a library, which allows you to parse, for example, the current remarks in YAML and also the bitstream remarks. <coughs> Tools right now usually use, uh, look for remarks in uh, which are right next to the object file because that's how Clang emits them. Or they might look for the extension of opt.yaml, but this might not always be true. It, it may be that for LTO or just more complex build systems, this, this is not true. And we want to integrate remarks as part of the whole compilation process. And we're trying to add a link between the object file and the remark file. We're doing this by adding a new section and this section is going to contain metadata about these remarks. And for example, for Bitstream, here is some actual LVM Bitstream metadata that is embedded in the section. And this contains one field, which is the path to the actual remark file. Some notes about this section, though. It's, the, section, the, the section is only present in object files. And the linker completely ignores it and is not embedding it in a final blink binary. <coughs> as, as debug info works on, um, on Darwin platforms, we have a debug map which allows us to retrieve the object files from the linked binary. And we're going to use the same thing to actually retrieve these remarks. But sometimes we only work with a fully linked binary and some metadata. And this metadata might be just debug info or whatever information we have about the program. And for example, on Darwin platforms, we have something that we call a decent bundle, which contains debug information. And at that point, we might not have the object files anymore. And even the links probably are, are not going to allow us to retrieve the object files. So what we need to do is to actually generate a standalone remark file. <clears throat> and to do this, we're going to use the same workflow as, we, as debug info does. This allows us to uh, perform optimizations because we see the whole, all the remarks for the whole pr program and we can do things like string duplication or just actually deduplicating the remarks. This is a great way to actually get started in LVM to, to, work on, to, to contribute to LVM and the two main things that we're missing right now are basically using this new library and the current tools and just coming up with some kind, of, um, some kind of tool that allows us to extract and convert from different formats. Thank you.